So you're curious what tracheostomy is, what a trach is, and I want to give you more than just the textbook, people. I want to give you a deep description of what it feels like to have a trach. Now this channel, before I get into it, is built around positivity, showing people a different approach on life, an approach that I found happiness and success, and I know you will as well. So if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, and subscribe to a positive channel. On to the video. Tracheotomy is a way that can bypass the typical way of breathing and allow somebody like me that got into a spinal cord accident to still be able to breathe either using a ventilator, you can also attach a ambu bag on it, which is just a simple thing that you keep pumping, putting constant pressure, and it gives the impression of a breath. So there's a few things that traits can do that way that are extremely life-saving. Also, tracheotomy gives you the ability to get phlegm, to get secretions that are stuck in your lungs out. And it saved my life countless of times. There's times where I was destatting, where my blood oxygen levels were going down increasingly fast, decreasingly fast. And because of a trach, being able to access that airway, I was able to to be all right and not worry about losing my life over something so simple. And being quadriplegic, we have a hard time bringing up phlegm. We can only use, some of us, half of our diaphragm, some of us less, some of us more. It's a huge compromise. Anything respiratory, related makes it more life-threatening so a common cold to you guys could be fairly dangerous to us especially if we didn't have the help necessary now with a trach you can also use like palmacort a buterol let's say you're having some trouble just right here you can just place it right here and it does the necessary things that it needs to do and now what it feels like when you're getting suctioned, oh, it's a double-edged sword because you know you need it to get the secretions up so you can breathe. But at the same time, when it goes down and especially when it hits, hits this, this spot where your lungs separate, oh, that is super painful. You kind of want it to at the same time. Now, Based on my experience, when I'm feeling like I need it, I want them to go down low so that I know that they're bringing up the stuff. And another common question in which I made a different video for is, can we speak? And most, most of you, that's probably a question you have in the back of your minds. The answer is yes. With a trach, you can speak depending on what trach it is. There's three different kinds of traits that I've used, and I think there's even more than that. One of the first is a cuffed trach, which simply means that there's a balloon in the trach. Then there's also traches that don't have the cuff. And then I also had a Montgomery, which doesn't have that L shape. It has more of a straight line. And then if you want to suction, you lift it up at an angle so that you can get down there. When I had my Montgomery, I actually didn't get suctioned at all, which was one of the main reasons that I was able to get rid of the system. And when you have a shriek, there's this thing called a Passimere valve, which is a blue-green addition that you put on the top. Very expensive. The one that I had, it was like $600. And it allows you to express vocally what you want it makes a little middle ground you still can breathe through it and you have 
the flexibility to speak. And I've made a whole list of different videos that are all about quadriplegia. So if you're interested in some of those, you may also check them out at this time. And if you found this video educational, informational, please like, comment, and subscribe, and you will get more just like it. A lot of people ask me, like, Alex, with all of these different things, how do you stay positive? And my answer to that is right after my accident, I saw I had two choices. I could either be physically limited or physically and mentally limited. And if I'm going to be in that same physical state, if I know I'm in a condition that currently right now is irreversible, why put yourself through that state of depression? I don't know what things you're going through in life right now, but there's some things that are out of our control. But you know what's in our control? The way that we view these situations and the way that we react to them. And it's all a choice. It's your choice. It's my choice. And those choices can make the difference between a happy life and a sad life. Good day, guys. Thank you.